Well, this is a new NIDEC GS1 gonioscope, first of its kind, 360 degree colour imaging all the way around of gonioscopy, a technique that is primarily in the ophthalmology domain, not many optometrists like to do it, it's very difficult to do, but is obviously a, a key part of glaucoma um, diagnosis, but also prior to cataract surgery and other treatments. Normally with gonioscopy you'll have a, a one, two, three, four or six mirror lens that you put onto an anaesthetised cornea and you have to rotate it and you have to draw or write what you've, you've seen. Whereas now you've got complete recording of that, of all the images. You line up in position and press a button and it will auto align, auto capture. So you can do both eyes in about a minute and a half. Just like we do with OCT, we offer full user training and interpretation training. So there will be CET accredited training on what they're looking at and obviously on how to get that image. Because it's 16 mirror lens, and it takes 17 images for each of those at different depths. So it automatically detects the most in-focus image for the angle itself, but you can change the focal plane depending on what you want to look at. So this patient has actually had MIGS, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery, and they've had a, a stent put in. So here the angle is in focus, but not the actual stent. So we can change that so that that's more in focus. If you use normal gonioscopy with a slit lamp, you would, bear, you would really struggle to see that. This is at most one and a half millimetres in total length. So what's on show there is about half a millimetre in size. A really interesting thing as well is you can stitch the images together in a 360 degree view or as a linear view as well. This patient has had angle recession as well, you can see. So you can understand all the things that are, that are taking place here. I'm surprised by the amount of interest already, actually, from optometry. I mean, obviously there's interest from ophthalmology. Uh, but for me, I mean, the chronic open angle glaucoma pathway, uh, we can do most of the things that are required in glaucoma diagnosis, including corneal centre thickness. The only thing that stops us from doing actual diagnosis is, is gonioscopy, which is still in the realm of ophthalmologists. So if we can do that easily, uh, there's a great potential that we could take a huge amount of workload off uh, secondary care uh, NHS outpatients, glaucoma, uh, and get involved in community ophthalmology. And I think this is a, a great potential um, to, to get us more involved in, in the medicalisation of optometry. It's extremely cool, I love it. From the moment I saw it, I was really struck by the, the ingenuity of it.